Hello YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Nashville and VirtualBox or VMware. This is build 999, which is the only public release build that they have uh, that has been released, and that's the only public build that you can find. And it's build um, 999, and it's the basically the kind of part of the Windows 98 beta. I don't know if I'm correct on that. Memphis is born 98. It could be more of a uh, later 95 beta. Not. It's kind of confusing. Like when ni Windows 95 came out and they were doing like updates to it, this probably could be like a build that was that came out after 95 that was like updates to it or something. I don't know. It's a little confusing. But this is Windows Nashville. So let's get started. You want VirtualBox or VMware? WinRAR description. Um, ISO will be in the description and also there will be a link on how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox or VMware because you will need that for this tutorial because this requires an upgrade from Windows 95 to Nashville so um, I'll have a link in the description for how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox or VMware um, and you can go ahead and watch that so once um, you've downloaded your VirtualBox or VMware, you want to hit New and create a new virtual machine. I'm just going to call it Windows Nashville. Set the operating system to Windows 95. Hit Next. Hit Next again. Create a virtual hard drive. And then now you're going to want to go through the process of installing Windows 95 by going to Settings and doing the storage and going and doing Windows 95. Which, one, which will require an MS-DOS install, which will be linked in the description of the 95 video. Just go watch the Windows 95 video and um, go ahead and install that first, and I'm going to be back with you guys once that's finished. Right, apologies for the delay, but uh, once you get Windows 95 installed, you're going to want to insert the uh, Nashville, Nashville ISO, and that will confirm that this is... Windows 95. I click in here and go into Microsoft Windows 95. Version 4.00.950. So this is the uh, first ever Windows 95, not the OS2 or OSR2 or OSR2.5 or whatever it is. Um, and so we'll hit OK and then we'll go ahead and insert the ISO which will be supplied in the description. So if we go to here, or actually it's in here for me. It must be an upgrade from Windows 95. So there it is. And now when you go to, I don't know if it's auto run or not, go to my computer and go to here and then set up. Windows 95 setup, hit continue. It's going to perform a routine check. And it'll do that for a little bit. And it'll say Windows 95, but in reality, it was codenamed Nashville at this time. So hit yes to accept the license agreement. And then hit next here to get some information. Hit next to install there. So we're going to check for installed components. And then it'll go to the next step where you will. S so you can save your existing. MS-DOS and Windows system files and um, with these you can uninstall this if necessary and um, we're just going ahead and hit yes hit next it's going to find the system files I'm just going to do this you can hit no if you want but I'm going to hit yes just to Give you guys a look at what this does. So it'll save your files, which can 
take some time so just let it sit for a minute right, once that's finished uh, it'll ask for this just leave it on typical and hit next and then it should be the default name that you had already set for the Windows 95 hit next click next again it's going to analyze your computer which again can take some time All right, so when it's done it'll ask you if you want to install these things right here and you don't have to but I'm just going to install uh, the Microsoft Network um, leave it there I guess and hit next hit next to install most common components and then sorry it skipped on me um, it'll ask for the computer name and everything just leave it the way it was before I guess I just called my Nashville hit next Hit no, I do not want to create a startup disk. Hit next. Hit next again. And it will prepare to copy files. And then, this is basically literally exactly just like Windows 95. So if any of you, I guess, don't really want to watch the tutorial, I mean, you're going to need to because you're going to need to install DOS. Um, you literally can probably just watch this, but. Now it's going to uh, copy over the files and this will take a while so I'll be back in a minute. If this ends up coming up just go ahead and hit skip file and then I guess if that comes up for anything else just hit skip file and it'll continue with the setup so um, if this is um, if something like this comes up go ahead and hit no to all and it will keep going through the setup so skip file and no to all be back with you guys in a couple minutes it's so once it's finished copying files it'll say preparing to restart your computer so basically that's exactly what it's going to do it'll say finishing setup so then once that comes up just hit finish and then remove the ISO click OK going to reboot okay ready to run for the first time and obviously it's going to say Windows 95 because they never codenamed every every single bit they didn't really codename anything Nashville this was just what it was codenamed at the time so now it'll say enter password I don't have a password so hit OK And if this comes up, just hit yes. And then you can type in a password if you want. I'm just going to hit OK because I don't want a password. Now it's going to set up um, plug and play devices and other hardware, which shouldn't take too long since you literally update, upgraded from Windows 95 to this. Now it's going to set up control panel programs on the start menu, Windows Help, MS-DOS program settings, time zone, and Microsoft Exchange. So it's just going to do this kind of stuff here, which won't take too long. It'll fly through this stuff real quick. I guess when it gets to time zone, you'll have to select your time zone. I'm just going to hit close. And now going to come up with Microsoft Exchange window here and um, now it'll go through the setup wizard just hit no next next um, now hit finish and now you have to restart in order to the new settings to take effect so click OK and it's going to restart So it'll start it back up. And after
after it goes through the boot reboot process. We should hopefully get the desktop of Windows Nashville. And I'll prove to you that it's build 999 in a minute. So I'll go ahead and type in password if need be. Hit OK. Startup challenge to play. After this screen, you'll hear it. Now. Oh wow, it didn't play. Huh, weird. When I had Windows 95 installed, the audio was working, but sometimes it might not work with the Nashville build. So if we get out of that, if we right click on my computer and hit properties, now it will say Microsoft Windows 95, but instead of 4, uh, 4.0, I think it was, or 4.01 or something like that, it's 4.10.999. So there you go, that is proof that it is Nashville Build 999. And that is the video tutorial on how to install Windows Nashville in VirtualBox or VMware. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video if this helped you guys out. Also share it so other people can see it. Comment ideas down below. More video tutorials coming soon. And um, I think you'll enjoy some of them. Also don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you guys again for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.